I am looking really old. Like, do I look old? I mean, I, I, I know. I'm, I'm looking a little bit old, I'm not gonna lie. Welcome back to the channel, and today we're talking about Taiwan. I'm oh, sorry, we're talking about T-Rare Source, T-Rare Source, T-Rex Woodley versus Egg Paul. Let's get into the breakdown. I've wanted the rematch more than I wanted Tommy versus Jake, <clears throat> being honest. Because, like I said in my video, I think that Taiwan Woodley is on the level of Jake Paul in terms of boxing. From a boxing standpoint, Taiwan Woodley is a better boxer than Jake Paul. Jake Paul won because he wanted him more and of his good determination to win and his ability to take shots. That's why he won the fight. Not because he was a better boxer. He was technically at a good level because he's not. Jake Paul versus Taiwan Woodley is a great competitive fight for Jake. It brings out the best in Jake and, it's, and it gets us to really see what exactly is in, in Jake and, and bringing out who Jake Paul really is as a boxer. I think this is a 50-50 fight. I do think Tywin Woodley's gonna win this. I said if they ever rematch, I'm p picking Tywin Woodley. I think that Tywin Woodley's gonna win the win this fight, and why? Because personally, one, I know that he's been training ever since the fight ended, so obviously he's gonna have gotten a lot better, and we saw, how, you know, from his first camp, how good he got and how much he progressed as a boxer in just a few short months. So I'm, I'm gonna be very confident that he's gonna be 10 times better than he was back in August. Now, I know that people aren't very excited for this fight, but I think you should be. Because this is Tyrone Woodley. This is still going to be a tough, competitive, and compelling, fun, action-packed event and boxing event. It's, it's going to be a good fight. And I do think that we will see the men, both men, hit the canvas. I hope so. That Tyrone Woodley now knows how Jake Paul fights. And yes, I know Jake Tyrone is known for that one for that one punch hit, he doesn't do combos, he's kind of a bit too complacent, and maybe we will see that, but I feel like he's wanted this fight way more than Jake does. I think it's going to be the opposite of the first fight, where Jake Paul is going to want to win this fight, but not as much as Tyron Woodley. I think Tyron Woodley's going to have the heart, the determination, he'll be the underdog, unlike, unlike last time. And I think we're gonna see that Tyron, I, I just, I, when I watch Tyron Woodley, I really feel like he's like he's like a kid at a candy store going, yay, I got the Wii match. And I think with the first fight, he was like that, but he was more like, you know, I'm gonna beat this YouTube kid, I'm gonna get a bag, it's whatever. But now I feel like we're seeing the most motivated, most fired up Tyron Woodley that's rivaling, and I'd say is even above Jake Paul. Like, I think, these, I think Woodley wants this way more than he did in the first fight. And that's a problem for Jake. I think that Woodley has that one knockout power. Again, I think that Jake doesn't handle the power of Woodley too well. <clears throat> and we know that Woodley can counter Jake very well. We know that when uh, Tyron Woodley uses the jab, especially the double jab, that's what actually led to Jake Paul getting hit. And the Al Bernstein said, he's, he's, Tyron Woodley, he's got a good jab. When Tyron Woodley used the jab, and he didn't just do these single punches, and he did combinations, and he did a, a little bit more technical, uh, he was winning. He was doing so well against Jake. And if he can do that, there's no way Jake survives this fight. Just take more risks is really the big thing, and um, show that he wants it more. We might get a draw out of this. We might get a competitive fight. But if I do think Woodley will win via knockout, um... I'm going to say in the later rounds, maybe five, six, seven, when Jake starts to gas out. And Jake did say that he's got, a, he's got better cardio. He's 10 pounds lighter. So that might play into Jake maybe not losing the cardio. But I do think that is the Paul's Achilles heel. So I think he will gas out. And Woodley will come out victorious um, purely based off of his cardio. And I think he will knock out Jake Paul. Is what One Jake that first fight was the combinations. And the reason why is because... And the reason why Jake always did the combinations is because Woodley would put his two hands up like this. And this this was his guard. And he had good, he had really good defense. And he, I'm, I hope he keeps that defense. But he was just a little too cautious with Jake. And he would go like this. And his body would be open. So Jake would be able to go boom, boom. And then Tyron Woodley really would bring his body, his hands down. And then he'd go bang up to the top. Um, and I, I'm glad I analyzed this fight a couple weeks ago. Because I'm glad, because I have to go back and redo the whole thing today. And that was why Jake did the punches. If Woodley can come with more of a, a boxing guard like this, and he can do more jabs and almost kind of do like a Mayweather thing, which he was doing, and um, counter a lot, he, Jake won't be able to use the combinations. Because the combinations, let's be honest, that is what got Jake Paul a lot in points. And if Woodley can have combinations of his own, I don't think Jake Paul survives. Now, I think what Woodley's keys to success are is uh, count, constantly uh, counter punching. Jake is known to throw a jab and be stiff about it, terrible head movement, come with his head down and his face down, or closing his eyes. And what Woodley needs to do is take honestly more risks. The uppercut is there, he needs to jab a lot more. 
apply the pressure a lot more, take more risks, and I tell you, he will beat Jake Paul. He has all, he is technically a better boxer. Tyron Woodley can beat this fact. Fact. He can beat Jake Paul. He has the technical ability to knock out and embarrass Jake Paul, just like Tommy Fury. It's all about mentality with these two guys. And with T Tommy, it's just he freezes up. And with Tywin, he just doesn't take enough risks and he's playing it safe. And if he doesn't play it safe and he just goes for it, maybe he'll get knocked out. But honestly, I don't think he will. And I think he will beat Jake Paul. I think for Jake, the keys to success for him is to not is to have better head movement, not do this with his jab. Better defense, footwork, like those are the key things that if he does better, he can win. Like there were times when he was bouncing and he was kind of going like this, and that's when he worked very well. He needs to have a much better jab. And when Tom Woodley's got him on the back foot and he's got the jab, he has to have an answer, for, an answer for that. He has to take it instead of kind of just going like, "What's going on?" You know, he kind of almost like bites Paul in some in some instances, just using his head. Um, and 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 honestly, I think Jake, the nerves did get to Jake, and maybe they'll get to him again this time. Um, and obviously, he had a hyperextended jab, so he hopefully won't have any of those injuries this fight. Um, and again, the cons for Tyron Woodley is him not applying the pressure. And for Jake, it's just the fundamentals just aren't there. So overall, those are my opinions. And I think that, again, Jake can win this fight 100%. I think Jake can very st much win this fight by a knockout or on points. I think Tyron Woodley can win on points or by a knockout or TKO. I think all options are possible for both guys. I'm going with Tyron Woodley, but I'm not going to be upset if you go for Jake Paul. This is very much a 50-50. Who knows? We, we, whoever you pick, I think everyone will be like, fair. Um, <clears throat> I do think the first fight should have been considered a draw, and I gave four rounds to Tyron Woodley, four rounds to Jake Paul, and maybe I'll do a breakdown of that fight to really give you a perspective of my thoughts and opinions. Can Jake Paul beat Tyron Woodley? Yes, he can. Um, but I, again, just based off of what I think, I think Tyron Woodley is going to want him more, and I think he will knock out Jake Paul, and what a better way to end 2021 than with Jake Paul getting knocked out. So that's the video. Like, sub, and comment, and I'll see you guys in the next video.